they're all concerned about high spots, high spots, high spots. And that's not what wrestling is about. No. In my opinion. Your memories on being around your old friend Percy Pringle? And I was Paul Bear along with Undertaker during that time period. Um, yeah, Percy and I go way back, but, uh, oh, you mean in WWF? WWF in the 93. You know, we, uh, you know, we, the, the, the schedule and everything was so hectic, you know, um, we'd be around each other for a little bit, like, but it was never like Texas because we were around each other all the time, you know. Because um, they had the split schedule. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah, just, we just kind of like drifted apart a little bit. But when we reconnected, you know, a few months ago, it's been all great. You really? Know, just, That's you know, when I talk to him, we kind of remember, we reminisce about the old Texas days and, you know, good memories. Did you ever think Undertaker would go on to become the, the phenomenon he has over the past almost 20 years now? Well, you know, Buzz Sawyer uh, broke, uh, Undertaker was into the business and then Buzz ended up splitting. And uh, then Mark... Took him for all his money. Yeah, took yeah. him for a bunch of money and then split. So Mark was, wasn't working. So when Bruiser Brody took the book over and he was my good friend, he goes, man, I need, I need a big guy to work with. And I said, man, I got this guy. And I asked some of the guys... You know how to get a hold of Mark? How to get a hold of Mark? So I got somebody to get a hold of Mark, and we got a hold of him and said, you want to come in and work? So they put a mask on him, called him Big Red, mm -hmm. and he had his first match with Brody. Really? So, yeah, yeah, he can thank me for actually getting his <laughs> first match in the business because I got The Undertaker's very first match, match in the business against Bruiser Brody. Really? Oh, yeah. a piece of info right there. Yeah. Let's take a look at the summer in 93 now. Still around what's going on. Hogan's really not working the house shows, and he was the champion at the time. Yeah. He politicked to try and get. Right. He went to Japan to work Muda. The World Wrestling Federation was live at the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Friday, June the 21st, 1991. In the opening contest, Brett Hitman Hart beat Colonel Mustafa. Shawn Michaels with the win over Kato. Road Warrior Animal defeated WWF Tag Team Champion Jerry Sags in what was to be a tag team title match. Earthquake victorious over Jake the Snake Roberts via disqualification. IRS beat Greg the Hammer Valentine. The Big Boss Man with the win over the Mountie. And in the main event, the Ultimate Warrior defeated The Undertaker via disqualification. If you are in Minneapolis Live, share your memories in the comments section below. Use the links in the description box to keep wrestling legends working in our eBay store and on our world-renowned Patreon streaming service so we can bring you more interactive superstar shoot interviews to relive the good old days of professional wrestling. Check it out. Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year with professional wrestling content galore and need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after our Monday Night Raw review, it's Wrestling Insiders at your house with WWE Hall of Famer Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. after NXT and AEW, join rotating legends on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey on Wrestling Insiders, Party with Marty. Friday night after SmackDown, don't miss John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, history videos, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. For less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, get early ad-free access to our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times. Join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Expect the unexpected in 2021.
But as we mentioned, Kamala a few minutes ago, he was another gentleman that just sat right in that seat. He actually sang right here. Yeah. The, Did you the, know he sang? No. Oh, uh, yeah, he sang in the car a couple of times yeah. on road trips. But we had to drink a lot of beer to hear it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I loved him to death, man. Um, you know, we'd sit back in the dressing room and cut up. And he, in, a, in, a, in a way, he kind of kept to himself. Um, you know, he had a friend here and there that was special to him. Uh, but, you know, but me and him hung out all the time and, and would, you know, cut up and we'd laugh with ourselves. And, and uh, he, yeah, he just, he just, he was just like a, 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 a what do you call it, a person that doesn't care to let himself out, you know. Um, introvert, maybe? Yeah, introvert, yeah. That'd be a good way to describe it. But uh, you see that in him? You see what I'm... Yeah, yeah. Even when we did the interview, I mean, we sat and we did a three-hour documentary-style interview with him, and he, it took a little bit of conversation for him to feel comfortable enough to come out with some of his life experiences, if that makes any sense. But yeah. it wound up being a great interview. We had a lot of, lot of fun. He, you know, it got sad at times with some of his life experiences, and we had some laughs, too. That was, the, I've described that interview as emotional. It was very one of the most emotional ones we've ever done, as opposed to the Sheik, who came in high as a kite, yelling and screaming and threatening to rape men but <laughs> <laughs> with no teeth in. <laughs> oh, where is the medicine? <laughs> I tell you, with all the, not to shy away from Kamala, but with all the buzz that came out of everything with you a couple of weeks ago, I still don't think it was as much buzz as when Howard Stern started to play the clips from the interview we did with the Sheik every day on his talk show. <laughs> I he? could not believe uh, uh, our late friend, the Jackal, the great commentator who we miss every day. I remember he emailed me. He said, guess who's on Howard Stern today? I said, I have no idea. Who? He said, you. I said, what the fuck are you talking about? Howard Stern or Howard Stern. No, Stern. And he go, I said, what are you talking about? He goes, Howard Stern is taking the clips from YouTube of that interview you did with the Sheik, and, and they did it for over a year. They can, had they, can they do that legally? Uh, I think if it's less than 15 seconds, it's called fair usage or something like that. Oh, okay. So they could get away with it, but it will work, wound up working out good. They wound well, up yeah, of course. I, mean, I was just wondering if that was legal. Because well, want... I'll start doing it if it is. <laughs> <laughs> they wound up having Sheik on the show, and in exchange to actually use the footage, they gave us free commercial time yeah. to promote live yeah, events. So it worked out really good. Yeah. They were actually some really good people over at Howard Stern. Uh, I wish I got to go on with them, but you know what? And the funny thing is, with all my years now of that being all over the internet, everyone knows me as Dan Maloney, because the sheik couldn't say my name for the life of me. <laughs> and Tony, who I've known since 1993, calls me Dan Morella. So Morella. <laughs> It's Joey and, and uh, Gorilla. No kidding, right? Yeah. So I, I, when and I die, I'm gonna, Tia. I'm gonna need a billboard for my uh, cemetery headstone when I go, because no one will recognize me by my regular <laughs> name. I'll have to throw the other ones on. But what uh, is your regular name? Marathi. Say it again. Marathi. Do what? Marathi. I'm sorry. And you're screwing with me. No. Mar oh no, I'm, I'm so, I've heard you. I'm just sorry. That's your name. Oh, no. Marathi. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> apparently he finds humor in it too. But I, I, I'll, I think I'll. No, I'll just play it. You know that. When I run into people anywhere at conventions or shows, they're oh, oh, Dan Maloney, <laughs> you no good son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I miss that poor guy. But anyway, back to Kamala. Did you ever work with him? I think I did have a match with him. What uh, was it like to work with oh, him? Oh man, I mean, easy. that's a, he's a lot bigger than me, and I'm a relatively big guy. Uh, he's so light, man. Some, sometimes uh, you you. If he was behind you, you'd hear the stomping of the feet. The only way you knew to, because I mean, he was so light, you know. Um, or at least he was with me. Um, I, I'd hate if he didn't like him. <laughs> Imagine he could lay it in. A lot of guys have said that he was very smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Yeah, yeah. real smooth. We was talking. You know, he's one of the funny things. I think it was in Kansas City. We didn't work together that night. He was just coming through, and we hit it off in the beginning. You know, just sitting there and cutting up, and but. Uh, I'd ask him, I said, well, how do you, how do you like the, the gimmick, the character, you know? And he goes, Marty, it's the only way I could get him to like a big, fat black man. <laughs> I was like, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what did you say today? <laughs> right. But, um, Where did you work with him? Was it in uh, I Mid think it was, an independent, no, it was an independent show, oh, an and, and it was outdoors at a baseball park. Um, and the, like a big baseball park and the, the bad thing about doing baseball parks 
<laughs> yeah, if it, you can have a couple thousand people there and it looks empty. <laughs> and they're so spread <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah, 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 yeah it yeah. looks empty. But, um, yeah. He just, he had a very sad yeah, end I, of I, life. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I didn't know that. He didn't ever get into that with me. Uh, you know, we kept it on the surface, you know, and, and uh, you know, lap around. But did you know that he lost his legs? Yeah. Yeah, that was, and you know. Well, that was a, there was a, a time with the, during the, I can't say much about that either. Damn, I can't talk at all, all this legal shit. And, and it's about a lawsuit with the uh, WWE. Uh, I think we talked about it a little bit last time, didn't we? Uh, I think we talked about it personally, not on the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got to be careful. The attorney said don't talk about the lawsuit. So I'm not going to talk about it. But, um, yeah, we, we were um, kind of in the same boat where as WWE was taking care of people with uh, drug problems and alcohol problems, like going through rehab, paying for it. That, that's just expensive. Um, you know, and, and I love all my boys, you know, Jake and, you know, Sonny and, and Scott Hall, I love them all. Um, so I'm not saying anything against them. I'm just saying, though, the guys that come through, had been through there 10, 15 times. Well, I don't know about 15, but been through a lot. And, um, you know, they, they keep paying for it. All I needed was a foot. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they're both bad, but we did this last time. But I love, I love showing this and almost did it again. See this ankle here? See how it's off the, the foot's over here? The, the leg it's, bone's going it's over here? It's just like the Sheik after we were in that car accident. Is that what it was? It, that, when I saw you walk that first time when you went into the convenience store when you were here last month, yeah. I said, before Sheik was completely immobile like he is now, I said, that's exactly what Sheik is like, walking on, not on his foot, he's walking on I his think, ankle. I always think about that, too, because uh, you know, I've seen him a couple times in airports. Um, it's brutal. See, when you're in pain all the time, everything that's bad gets magnified, and things that are good are not quite as good. You know, because you're, you're, you're constantly grimacing and... and you know, my toes, I would take all my damn clothes off. I mean, my <laughs> clothes on my feet off. My toes are actually curled permanently until they get surgery. Curled under from the squinching all the time. The World Wrestling Federation was live at the Pittsburgh Civic Arena in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the home of Maria Davis, Friday, June the 19th, 1992. In the opening contest, El Matador beat Skinner. Road Warrior Animal victorious over Blake Beverly. Model Rick Martel defeated Tatanka via count-up. In the main event, the Ultimate Warrior with the win over Papa Shango. Crush beat Kato. High Energy victorious over the Nasty Boys via disqualification. And WWF Intercontinental Champion Bret the Hitman Hart retained the title over Shawn Michaels. If you are in Pittsburgh Live, share your memories in the comment section below. Use the links in the description box to keep wrestling legends working in our eBay store and on our world-renowned Patreon streaming service so we can bring you more interactive superstar shoot interviews to relive the good old days of professional wrestling. Check it out. Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year with professional wrestling content galore and need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after our Monday Night Raw review, it's Wrestling Inside Us at your house with WWE Hall of Famer Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. after NXT and AEW, join rotating legends on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey on Wrestling Insiders, Party with Marty. Friday night after SmackDown, don't miss John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, history videos, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. For less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, get early ad-free access to our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times. Join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Expect the unexpected in 2021.